see. I think this is okay. I went I went to the to China for the show. 13 episodes last year. It's me. Yes, yes. Oh you watch TV as you drive. Hopefully, Auntie, I would like to talk more to you because I believe that you are very sincere in searching for that and I really hope Allah will guide you and guide all of us. Was that the first time that you did that? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I see. It's not the first time I've ever prayed, but it's the first time I've ever prayed to oh. Allah in that way. I mean, by the way, my name is Fridos. Yes, you are Fridos. Fridos. My name is Alf. Alf. Like Alif, but without the I. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> great, great. In, in fact, just now, when, when I was just talking to one of the sisters there, and then I saw you pray, and I, I personally, seriously, I'm touched. I'm touched with your, with, with your movement, with your actions, that it's quite spontaneous that you go there and you make yeah. the prayer. I never planned to come and pray today. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it was not on my agenda, but yes. I just, today I feel very open in my heart, yes. and just feel like connecting. Oh, it's, it's good. And it's so, good. Islam come, came to me today. So Do, don't you think that is the faith that is what God, Allah, make you here today? That the two girls come and talk to you, and then my colleague talk to you, sure. and now we have, you, you, you have your there's, first experience. There's no coincidence. There's no coincidence, and there is... I've this. never walked on this street before in my life. Mm. I was going that way, and I thought, no, I'm going to go this way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I decided to go this way, but... Because, Allah let me. Yes, because the owner of the heart guides you to be here. Now, do, don't you think that this might be the sign that God wants you to know more about Islam and some initially and become a Muslim? What, what, what do you think about that? Al? I think that God wants me to understand every religion. Yeah. But I don't think He wants me to embrace any of them. I mean, do you have anything that you would like to know or do you dislike about Islam that you've heard? Yeah, I have a little thing that troubled me this morning. Yeah. When I was reading the Quran after these two girls left me a book. Yeah. And it, it had a... I only got as maybe 10 pages or so. But yeah, yeah. It was an exclusive. Yeah. It, it was suggesting that there are the chosen ones. Yeah. And there are those that, that were not here. Yeah. And, and, and they can't be saved. Yeah. That is not consistent with my understanding of okay. God. Yeah. God doesn't choose. Yeah. He doesn't make this one bad and this one good because they read a book and follow these rules. I can't I can't buy that. Yeah. But every religion I've ever come across says the same thing. Yeah. We are the one and only religion. All the others are inferior, follow this way. And and that's why I'm not a religious man. Okay. I'm a spiritual man. What, what does the title matter? What does the skin color matter? Whether the hat, not a hat, yeah. prayer mat, no prayer mat. The Quran says skin doesn't matter. Yeah. What matters is in your heart. Yeah. What you believe in, how you practice your life, yeah. how you live your life. Yeah. According to the law that God has already stipulated. He doesn't need us, but like you say, I very agree with you because God says that He doesn't choose people. He doesn't choose you to become, I mean, He he doesn't say that, okay, because you doesn't submit to me, therefore I don't give you love. No. God still love. It's unconditional. Put it this way. He never he never give us a single bill to charge us for the eyesight that we are enjoying. <laughs> for the ability that to breathe. No. He no. don't charge us. No, no. Either you're a believer or not a believer, he don't charge you. Sure. But he just say a simple term. Now, I give you all this thing. Just put it as a very simple term that one day we just wake up and we found ourselves in a hospital. And the doctor told us, someone sent you here because you met an accident. You almost die. Now, as a human, what do we have? How do we feel during that time? We want to look for the person who sent us there, right? To show our gratitude to them, to thank them. Same thing. You are a spiritual man. Now, all these things, eyesight, how much are you willing to sell to somebody? To just one eyeball? Well, it's not for sale. It's not for sale. Even though people offering you 2 billion, 10 billion, you're not going to sell it. And virtually, that means you are billionaire. I'm billionaire. All of us are very All of rich. us. All of us. But God never said, okay, now, I'm giving you this. Now, 2 billion. Pay me in cash. No, he don't. Now, how should we thank him? Worship. Worship now. Honor. Yes. Honors, respect. sincerity, respect, and follow what he commanded us. Is God all loving? <laughs> yes. All loving. All loving. If God is all loving, 
How can he, even that one, even one of us that ignored his message, how, how could he not bring us into his fold and forgive us? That's why God I just can't imagine it. hell. What is hell? Is hell where you burn forever? I mean, I don't know what hell is, but it doesn't. It's not consistent with an all-loving God that there could be anywhere to send people that don't worship Him. Exactly, no problem. That's why I mentioned earlier part that when we accepting the all-loving God, we also need we need to accept all His attributes. That He's all-loving. He is so all mercy, he is so all just. But wrathful, he's just as well. Now, how should we balance that between justice and also loving? You, you cannot say, because I'm all loving, just because you kill him, I, I think it's okay. I mean, I will still put you in heaven. I mean, you, he's praying five times a day, he's submitting to the things, and yeah, yeah, this guy, he didn't do anything. I mean, okay, it's okay. I mean, can you imagine lecturer in, in, in the class, everyone doing the same exam, some pass, some fail, then I will pass all of you. <laughs> then the, 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 the students who are very hard working, you will say, then what is the purpose? I'm staying late to do all the revisions, to do all my assignment, all my thesis, and at the end of the day, you're going to pass everyone. There is, a, there is a concept in the world, in this world as well, we have the concept of reward and punishment. If uh, you are the boss, I believe, because you say you fire someone. <laughs> <laughs> now, in your organization, for sure, you will reward, you will give bonus to those who are performing well. Those who don't perform well, you might don't, you might give them lesser, or you don't give them. You might not deduct their salary. That's a good boss. Same thing. Reward and punishment. Reward and punishment. A different way. It's a different way. That's why when we say all loving God, we just cannot say this is all loving, but in the end, we neglect, we reject the attribute of justice. Me too, I don't want people to go to hell for it. God, Islam, teach me to love. I'm loving people. That's why today we are organizing this to share with people the message of Islam in order for them to have a clear message about what is Islam is all about for them to make their own choice because end of the day, I have my answer in front of Allah that God, I have done my best to convey the message and God will not blame me for that. Now you put me in a very difficult personal position. Why? Because now you've given me more time and more information about my questions around Islam than anybody has ever given me before. So now you put me in a very difficult position because I can't plead ignorance anymore. Yes. So, I'm not trying to put you into a difficult situation and I'm not going to force you because in Islam it clearly says La ikrah fidin. There is no compulsions in religion. I could not force you to become Muslim. I can force you physically and verbally to say La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah which means I bear witness there is no God except Allah and Muhammad is a messenger but deep in your heart you don't believe. You didn't say please be upon him. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. God. Now, just follow me. I just go slowly. Okay. Now, La ila, La ila, Ha illallah, Ha illallah, Muhammadu, Muhammadu, Rasulullah, Rasulullah. I bear witness, I bear witness, there is no God, there is no God, worthy to be worshipped, worthy to be worshipped, except Allah, except Allah, and Prophet Muhammad, and Prophet Muhammad, may peace and blessing be upon him, may peace and blessing be upon him, is the last and final messenger of God, is the last and final messenger of God. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar.